Jim, congratulations, a thoroughly professional performance and two great subs as well in that second half. Yeah, really pleased for the lads. Um, we knew it was a tough ask. Um, they're flying in the league, they've invested well. Um, we've obviously got a nice pitch, nice day for a game of ball and it's a long way to come uh, for, that, for our lads. And um, well, We did everything professionally today. It's the first time we've had a pre-match meal. Uh, we got all the lads together and um, travelled up and I'm really pleased that they put in a professional display and got the result that I thought in the end they deserved. Even when you got when you went to goal down, you, you, you didn't panic today. No, I, I think it was important that we got a response uh, for, um, for you know half, so that we were going in at half time. And um, it's been a, a little bit of an issue for us recently. That, um, I, I think the connection between the front players and the people that are putting crossing is, is not being there. And I don't overcoach that side of it because it, it, you might hinder creativity and decision making. But uh, I felt that our best opportunities were today, uh, like last week and, and other weeks, it's going to be from set plays. And I thought uh, we worked them hard to earn set plays. And then uh, it was only a matter of time before those second, the set plays second half were going to pay off because I think we had a couple of good chances in the second half before the goal. Sam Walker involved in both goals, scored one and made one. I, I don't know whether he meant to put it into that area for Nile, but given everything that's going on in his life at the moment, what a great performance he put in. Yeah, but if, if you want to use that word professional, I mean, I'm, I'm really pleased for the lad. Um, I think it was a tough year for him, perhaps to do the distractions of marriage and everything, and uh, a slow start to the season. And, you know, and, and, you know, perhaps a highly demanding environment where you've got lots of players can play the system, but he's risen to the challenge this year tremendously. And, um, He's done great for us, and um, again, I, I've said, uh, you know, in front of the lads that Sam Walker and Adam Thomas in particular are really important for our players. The stats don't lie; they, they're the hardest working players. And when you play this kind of tight midfield to allow the front players to be together, there's a lot of work for the side players, Adam Thomas and Sam Walker. And then on top of that, they're delivering the set plays and the assists. So, really pleased for Sam. I think he's jumping in the car now, heading down. Um, like I said, he's, you know, he's coming in every Monday morning, so. He's really buying into it and I'm really pleased for him just to, you know, I hope he has a, it continues because, um, you know, it's been brilliant so far. There's a lot of, uh, what I like today, great mutual respect between the supporters, the teams, obviously yourself and, uh, and their joint managers. And I think that respect would show most of all in the second half when they change their system to match what counts we do. Well, I mean, I think anybody looking across probably would find it hard to see what system both teams were playing because there was a bit of fluidity between the movements. I mean, first half we wanted to try and um, impose our two strikers on their back players, but uh, they've, they've obviously done their homework and realised that if they went down the right, they'd pull Darren Stevenson back. So we, we end up then looking like a 4-5-1, a 4-2-3-1, a whatever you want to call it. And then I think what re when, when we end up in that shape, I think we need a lot more energy from the 10 and I think Elliot Osborne coming on the second half gave us that extra player with that extra threat from there. Um, I didn't really notice too much what they did, they obviously made a few changes but we didn't do anything dramatic, we just, um, you know, we got Elliot in the mix and asked him to be the one with the legs to try and make two strikers, central strikers. Daz did extremely well, worked really hard because he was what we would call our Tommy Two Men, he was trying to be the 11 yeah. defensively and then trying to be the second striker and, and that put loads of demands on him and loads of demands on Sam Walker and Scott Ducks because of that but I felt if we kept ourselves aggressive and got tried to get free up against their back three, uh, sorry the back four, then we'd get opportunities, penetration and uh, set plays and we did. Because when you look at our bench and you look at our starting team and then you think on the bench you've got the Wolves and the Kirby's and the Bells and the, the Osborns, you know I said to the lads up front, work really hard in all phases of the game and if you're exhausted we've got three more that can work their back four and ultimately that paid off with the, the two subs making a difference. Connor obviously disappointed to come off and you'd, you'd want him to be disappointed but how big a gamble was it to play Elliot because I don't think he's had a training session with the year. So. Uh, it's not a gamble because we know what he's all about um, and, and to be fair to with Connor, 
Um, you know, the role is simple, uh, you know, to be in, the, in between the lines and, and play, join in the attacks, get in the box, try and get shots. But the role, the Connor's role within the set plays was limited there uh, because we're obviously using Adam and other players have got the movement patterns. Um, so it was an easy introduction, I felt. Um, and I thought the reason I brought him in, you know, you could see that in the first 10 or 15 minutes, that physicality to win the ball back, that a little bit of aerial strength that he gave us in them competitive zones. Um, and this is where I've got to put the challenge down to the other players. Um, uh, I'm not bothered about goals. You know, it, it's all your overall contribution to the game is what I'm looking at. Because um, if you work really hard and you put the opposition under pressure and you get us up the pitch, then you're contributing to the team's success. And um, you know, I've told tell loads of stories about uh, goals and everything, um, but their overall contribution to the game. And um, you know, Matty scored three, Connor scored three, but what we want from our midfielders is the complete game where they, they win the ball back. Uh, they create opportunities for other people, they get us into good areas, they win set plays and really put the opposition under pressure and I thought that Elliot did that for us today. And a great story for Niall Bell to come back up to the North East and to score that winning goal. What a great moment for him. I'm really pleased for the lad. Um, I think this is where we've kind of got to understand our players. These are players who have not played a lot of games or a relentless amount of games. Um, and then he's had like two man of the match performances and then he's dipped and uh, the stats show that. And then you can say to yourself, does he need to work harder and get his, you know, or do we have to recognise that probably he's playing above himself and he's tired and then he's a rest and, um, you know, and um, but he's worked really hard in training with Nick and so is Frank. Frank's losing weight and getting fitter all the time, and these are the players that we're concentrating on becoming better. And uh, I've got loads of uh, after being at St George's Park and topping up my pro I mean, I've got a real, real insight on how to help these players become um, better because. The beauty of this group that we've got together is, isn't that they're proven or that they're winning games at the moment, but it's the growth potential and we've got to try and, with those days we have, up the days we have and their commitment to training, to try and make them better and better and I think that we've got, they've got, well he's proven himself today but he's also got great potential and you know, I'm really pleased with him because he put the extra work in this week and it showed. And just finally, how pleased are you to win today? Because, you know, everyone's saying, oh it's a team from a lower league, but They've not lost here for five months, they've won five out of five, 100% home record, they've battered Garford in the last round, three successive promotions, this is a team that's going places. Yeah, the, uh, uh, you know, I, I heard from people in, in, their, in their level or the level before, you know, I remember when I was at Evers North, um, with Northwich we had, a, we had nothing compared to spending more on Darlington's budget and Salford's budget, um, and these are the next wave of those type of clubs, and uh, how far they go I don't know, because the Conference North, um, Takes, is a bit more demanding on the, the, the purse and, and the structures. Um, but I, I think they're, they're a club going in the right direction. I think it'd be interesting to see how they go over the course of the season because there's, there's a lot of good sides in that level. And it's such a tough lead, the Evil Stick um, Prem. Uh, you can see that from the teams that come up do really well. Um, and the teams from this level now, it's a really uh, Conference North level, a really, really strong league. And you can see that from how well they're doing in the national. I think the whole quality of um, the, the substructures under the national have really gone up a level in terms of the, the, the type of players, the type of structures, the finances being put into it. So, so we have to work really hard to keep pace with that progress and uh, to, to, to get ourselves above or, or be smart in what we invest in and how we go about our business. But I think they'll have a good season. Um, it was always a tough game. I mean, they'd have fancied uh, themselves at home against anybody from our level um, because they are effectively a Conference North out with Conference North players. And, like I said, um, good luck to them, but obviously I think we've done the professional job today and got ourselves in the round and um, I'm sure when you look at the results today there'll be a few teams that have, have slipped on the banana skin or, 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 or perhaps not done the professional thing and paid pay the cost, but uh, we need to dust ourselves down now and prepare for Darling and then hopefully on Monday we, we get a, a kind of a result that, or a, a draw that yeah. allows us to be at home, otherwise we're, I think we're away for the whole of September and early October. So. But at the moment, we're just, I'm really pleased for the lads, for the effort and the staff, all the work we put in, and those fans that came all this way, they kept the faith in us, and they've been, obviously, uh, going away with a, a smashing goal to win the game, and uh, really pleased to look forward to Monday's draw. We're through to the next round, well done. Thanks so much. Well done.